in response. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. I'm Jake. I'm Joel. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel Joel are Magic. Today. Oh no, sorry. Just do that. No, I like that you went right into it. Go ahead. Today, we've got a very special video planned for you. Yeah. Uh, I have purchased a collection on eBay, and we are going to be unboxing it. How much did you buy it for? I bought it for $37. And we know that there's at least an Ulamog in it. And a watery grave. And a watery grave. So So we might already have value just off of two cards of this entire collection. Let's open it up. Yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. You, we are here. We're not going to waste any more time. I'm not going to just continue talking just to talk. Yeah, we're we wouldn't go... want to do that. We wouldn't want to just talk just to talk. We wouldn't want to waste yeah, your time. We don't want to waste your time. Theories or to conjecture or anything gonna, like that. We're not going to talk to you about all of the weird shit that's going on. In no, our, in yeah, we want to open universe. it up. We're not talking about politics yeah, today no or politics, any kind of nothing. any kind of social we issues. We just want to do a magic together episode at all we just want to make sure that it's you, all about you magic have come to the watch gathering. the video you're we're gonna we're talk gonna do it about right now there's no reason to, there's the no gathering. reason to wait there's no reason to wait i agree 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 So there's the box. Let's crack this thing open and go. Yes. So I did crack this box earlier just to make sure that um, it wasn't a brick and a bunch of Nerf darts. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so we we do know that this is the item that I purchased on eBay. So let's uh let's just go ahead and open it. Well. Get some stuff out. I'm excited, man. This is the first time we've ever done like, yeah. anything like this. So this is just a little eBay collection. So it looks like there's some uh, looks like there's some cards here. How deep into the opening did you go here? I just opened it to be like, are these magic cards? <laughs> and then once I saw they were magic cards, I was like, oh, that's the collection I must have bought on Let eBay. This. So we'll get this. Let's just get these out. And uh, all right. So I guess let's go into these second. Yeah, let's just. Let's just keep these here. I'm not going to take them off and then see what we've got. All right. So here, uh, let's just each take a stack of these. No, we'll start with yours. All right. So I can tell you right off the bat, they smell like cigarette smoke. Do they? There's a little bit of a cigarette smoke smell. That's kind of oh, weird. Okay. Um, and it's that is mostly for the viewers. That's mostly going to stay with this cardboard. So you're going to want to throw the cardboard away from the collection that you purchase. What's cool is that each card is individually sleeved. That's an excellent thing to me. Okay, so I guess, um, you know what? Since we bought the collection for 37 bucks, yeah. uh, let's just go ahead. We'll set aside, you know, our, our uncommons. So this looks like this is um, a deck. This looks like the elves versus goblins. It's something. So we got some rares here. Oh, yeah. We got some... Um, some uncommons. I'm setting the uncommons to the side. But we definitely have a couple decks here, so this is cool. Some Shiv and Dragon action. Uh, nice. Okay. So we get we get some rares. We have some uncommons. Let's go ahead and do this pile. More rares. Oh, this is foil. That's attractive. What are what is the set symbol on these cards? This is a um, this is one of those decks that they did. It's not the dual deck elves versus goblins, but it's like a magic anniversary something. But it looks like there's some pretty good stuff here. So I'm just setting aside all the commons, uncommons. Definitely some definitely some good stuff though. Coat of Arms is like a $10 card by itself. And we got some lands, Elvish Visionary. Okay. Alright, cool. So we get through these. 
So that's it, and we can break into the boxes next. Yeah, let's just go ahead and break into the boxes. We've got our we've got our rares here, so we'll just go through these rares really quick. We got yeah. Gaius Herald, creature nice. spells can't be countered. That's cool. Yeah. Coat of arms. Foil Immaculate Magistrate. That is quite a foil. Yeah, that's attractive. Uh, Talaran's Battalion. Elvish Champion. Other elf creatures get plus one, plus one, and a forest walk. That's Clutch. a great card. Yeah, it's it's long time elf. Shivan Dragon, a Banefire, a Furnace of Wrath, and a Rage Reflection. So that's cool. Nice. All right, let's uh, let's, let's go ahead and set these, these aside. We've got some uncommons here, but we're not we're not really going to worry about these. Drove of Elves is good. Elvish Promenade, Jagatscar Archers. Yeah, There's they're some good cards. They don't represent much value. Imperious Perfect, that's a great card. Yeah, I think I think you've got maximum a dollar in any of those cards, and a lot of them are not quite that. Yeah, I think I think this guy here, ten bucks. This, I mean, we'll 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 do some yeah. prices in a little bit. We'll break into this. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we've got the two boxes. Let's do this one first. Yeah, let's just do it, man. We'll kill the smoky, smoky. Whoa. All right. All right. So there's just some stuff here. So you bought this for 37. The smell is hitting me again in a major way. 37 bucks. We've got some uh, some random. M14 like a bunch lands. Of lands. Yeah, I got M14 lands over here. All right. So we've got lands. Let's just put all those together. Yeah. These are whatever. Let's do these front Let's ones these. first. Got some M14. I've got a mix. Hard mix of commons. If you here. see any like commons or, or I mean uncommons, go ahead and pull them out. Yeah, absolutely. This looks like a lot of bulk here. Looks like common bulk. This is some bulk stuff. Some some great limited cards. <laughs> now from what I saw in the auction, there was supposed to be um, commons here. There was supposed to be like an Ulamog, a watery grave, some other stuff. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Go for it. To create a break. Sure. Oh, there we go. Wow. Ulamog, nice grab. Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. So that's good. A couple Sarah Angels. So Ulamog by itself, and, and this card does have a little bit of play, but Ulamog by itself is worth about 20 bucks. So that's a good amount of what I spent on the collection. It looks like this person played through second Zendikar through... So you got some uh, through um, recent sets, but they stopped before Amonkhet. Yeah. So this year we're getting we're getting some of the um, some of the good stuff. You got some dual. You got some of the taps for two different lands mm -hmm. at uncommon. So you're gonna end up with a full set of those. Ooh, foil selfless spirit is very cool, guys. That's that's like a ten dollar card by itself. Ooh, Kamal Pit Fighter foil. You know, these are one-offs in commander decks, I guess. Yeah. Martial Law. So these right here, these look like all of our foils. Wow, look at that set symbol. This card was... That's got to be like a uh, promo from something. I don't yeah, recognize that I, one. I don't recognize... But that's been my big thing with this set. Look at that Wasn't one. Wasn't this card one. good back in the day? When it first came out, there was some hype around it. I didn't play during this set, so I'm not sure. So this looks like a Duels of the Planeswalkers kind of symbol here. Because I'm looking at the foiling, and so these cards are totally legit. It's just uh, some set symbols I haven't seen before. Wow, look at all these Shivan Dragons. Concealed Courtyard, that's some money. Okay, so right here... I'm going to dig through these and just make yeah, sure go the comments while you go. Okay, so right here, what we're looking at, these are all rares. We got Lotlith Troll. Oh, there's the Watery Grave. Hey. Hey. That's some bucks. I mean, you've made your money. You've for sure. Made for your sure. Money back. So these are all rares and mythics right here. We'll set those aside. And uh, let's just look at some of this other stuff we have here. Um, Shrieking Affliction. That's a card played in the modern deck. That's not bad. I'm looking through your own comments here to see yeah. if there's anything. Glimmer Genius, that's like a buck, right? Yeah, it's a couple bucks. Is it Charm? That's good. Table of Guilds. Rapid Hybridization, that's a cool card. There's more of that set symbol. I don't know what the hell that is. I think that's like... 
We'll look it up after we shoot this and before we post it, but we won't have an answer for you in this video, so let us know if you know what this set symbol is, and we will definitely be like, yeah, we looked it up afterward. <laughs> yeah, there are definitely some crazy... crazy what I like about here. this is the fun... It combines the fun of opening a booster pack with the want. Hey, look, that's a commander standard. Maybe a buck. I don't. I haven't actually looked at the price of Urban Evolution, but yeah, you know, probably a probably a dollar. Like, so we've got stuff as far back as Gate Crash. Look at the sheen on this card. Though. In return. Look at that, dude. I'm telling you, man. There was, uh, just so everybody knows, there was an off-camera bit that won't be in this video of my spidey sense tingling with these cards. And Jake assured me, and I, I have been assured, that these are legitimate cards. There is some weirdness with them, but I'm wondering if it's just how they, maybe how they lived? Feel this card. Feel this card. That feels funky to me. Does it? Maybe it's just maybe it's just how they lived. I don't know why anybody would counterfeit a Doom Blade. <laughs> right, right. I mean, this would be a it's whole bunch of random, random crap. It would be a guy selling you a thousand dollar collection for thirty two dollars. Yeah, if someone put in the time to randomly counterfeit this stuff, which I don't think they did. This is it. We hit comments here at some point. Yeah, so this is just a, a whole bunch of the common pile. Have you been have you been going through common like murder no, transcripts the mine? Okay, so there's my break. So I've got uncommons here and comments here. So if I'm not Yeah, the rest of these are commons. So he did arrange them into commons, uncommons, and rares. So the rest of this is rares. I mean, uh, comments. Yeah, I mean... We've already gone through the... A couple incremental growth. Those are good. I'm going to kill yeah, a box. These are, these are still... Yeah. yeah, we'll just set that aside. We'll there. put those back. Um, I mean, when I look at these, though, like, if you look at, like, the little oily symbol, I mean, this is just, like... It's it, they're clearly they're clearly legit. Yeah, it's tough to be unlegit with that. Yeah. All right. Well, commons are here. Okay. Let me uh, let me get these commons out of the way here. These are all these are all uncommons. So these are all commons. These are all commons. I I dump my uncommons there, and I try as I was going through, I was flying through, but I was trying to see if what might have money in. Again, I haven't checked Urban Evolution's price, but I know that it's included in every pre-built right commander deck so it's maybe just it's such a good dollar value or not yeah it's a good card oh yeah hell yeah five for three cards and an additional land yeah let's crack this other one yeah let's see what's in there i'm i'm wondering and thinking that this might just all be common bulk yeah so this looks like a bunch of lands these are all lands i think we definitely hit the money cards with the first box so these are all lands yeah, from what it looks like, I'm looking at a bunch of basics. Which, no reason to I'm just gonna look through those. Alright. So far, comments. Hey, remember Ring Flesh? <laughs> yeah. When you're that was, when you're unlimited, you gotta work with what you got. That right? was that was a solid removal back in M14 days for limited. This is comments. You know what this hey, is? you want to talk about solid removal back yeah. in the day? It's a good card. <laughs> it's a good card. So, it, Joel and I were, were, having a were having a little bit of trouble looking at what we were thinking. You know, like just the spells, those are good. But we were looking at, you know, um, are, these, are these fake or not? And I think that just is a testament to wizards um, and their card quality and all the variance that goes into it because these are cards that no one has any reason to you know counterfeit for no them. yeah they're legit the the biggest question is the weird set symbol which like i said we're gonna look up 
after we after we shoot this, and we'll definitely know the answer to. Mm -hmm. These are all it's comments. Like I saw some pacifisms some in there. Yeah, some pacifisms, but more than this is nine. this is looking like the the uncommons stuff here. Oh, we hit the tokens here. These are some tokens. These might have some uh, interest value, not some money value. I think I'm seeing more. Doctor, sir. This is just a bunch of uh, basics. Scions, elementals, core ally, Kior's emblem. Which hey, that's is an cool. Unplayed planeswalker. But still, a clue. still cool. Doctor, uh, sir. Got the 8A octopus. Nice. Got the Gideon emblem that's creatures you can Hey, that's actually plus pretty one, sweet. Plus one. That's pretty sweet. And then we have basic lands. All right. So that's what we got. Let's go over the actual money cards. We're going to jump here to a cleared off board state. Okay, so Jake has looked at the cards. Yeah, separating so them by value here. What these do we are, got? These are notables. Um, I, and we didn't, we didn't look them all up, but remember, our number that we, were, we originally purchased the collection at was $37 shipped. So we're trying to beat 37 shipped. Yes. So what have you got up here? Let's talk all right, about the so, breakdown So what we, what we have is the notables is we have Ulamog up here. Yeah. That's 20 bucks. Yeah. We have Watery Grave, and this is TCG market price. Okay. Uh, we have Watery Grave, which is sixteen forty three. So this is pretty much pays for the purchase. I was going to say, with those two cards, we have covered the value of the box. Yes. We right? have We have Ulamog and Watery Grave, and these pretty much, these, these pay for the purchase. Now, we're not going to get into prices of all of these cards. We do have a lot of bulk rares that we're not going to talk about. Um, but other than that, we have Foil Selfless Spirit. Which is eight dollars and twelve cents market price. We could probably get more for it, but that's nice. That's pretty and good. A beautiful foil. Yep. Concealed courtyard, about five dollars and thirty cents. We have coat of arms here. So this set symbol that we were talking about. If you could see that set symbol, I, I know that you can. There it is. You can also see my nasty nails. But if you see this set symbol here, this is duels of the planeswalkers. Weird. Uh, but this coat of arms is worth seven dollars and nineteen cents. It's a weird. It's a weird thing. How would you have gotten those? Do you know? Um, I don't know how you get those I cards. Think it, I think that was like the the game that was on, um, whatever. But yeah, but how? I, I just never. I didn't ever know how to obtain those. Anyway, let us know in the comments yeah. how you obtain. I think you had to. You had to buy it. Walkers. You had to buy it. Uh, you had to buy something for, like, PlayStation, Xbox, PC, whatever it was. Right. And then you had to take a promo code to your store, and then they would give you, like, a promotional pack or something whatever. like that. That sounds good. Either way. So, Foil Immaculate Magistrate, $2.46. Uh, we have Elvish Champion. This is a great, great tribal card. Uh, $6.59. Uh, Elvish Promenade, which is around here somewhere. It's, like, there it is. This is an uncommon. Uh, this is worth uh, $3.60. We have Kamal over here, um, which is worth a buck. And just those cards right there that we just went through, that's $70.81. Right. Yeah. Now, we don't even need to get into the rest Not of the collection. counting a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a yeah. dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. Yeah, just like we got Aetherworks Marvel here. We've got some and really cool Lord EDH and cards. Lord Champion, yeah. So there's some there's some good stuff in this collection. Now, Joel and I experienced this, and everyone else didn't. Um, yeah, like see, we've got some cool foils here that are rares. Uh, but That's here's here's the thing: is this collection does smell like smoke. Yeah, it is strange, and that's probably something that you should talk about. You know what? We'll cover it in the wrap up. Let's move to a wrap up. Well, I think. Um, it's a collection that was bought for 37 bucks. I know we've already said that. Yep. But I think there was easily about, if you had to nickel and dime it out, about 150 in value there. For sure. If you took the top four cards out of that collection, you doubled your value. Pretty so much, yeah. it's definitely worth the purchase. Now, the negatives. Yeah, the negatives are, um, so we did purchase this on eBay. Yep. And it did... And you noticed it more than I did. It did smell like cigarette smoke. I've got a sensitive nose. And from the time we opened the box, I went, oh, this person smoked in their house. And Jake went, really? And I went, yeah. 
Um, it's I would say that the takeaway from this for me is ask, find out, clarify. Yeah. If the person is trying to sell you a bunch of cards. One or two cards, it's not going to matter. No, like the Watery Grave, the Ulamog, the Foil Selfless, a couple other things right. that go into my collection. I'm probably going to ditch all of the commons and uncommons. I'm just going to get rid of those just no, because just I don't need them. them away. But any Sing, of the cards Single that, cards, yeah. it's not going to matter. And I noticed that with the sleeved cards, like the... Uh, the dual deck. Duels decks, Duels of the whatever Walkers. they were. Yeah, yeah. Those, when you take them out and smell them up close, didn't smell as bad individually. So maybe those like were were sleeved when they originally got it, right. weren't played much. So just take them out of the sleeve, replace the sleeve, yeah. and you're good. Uh, the cards like but the... find out. I would say find out from the buyer, from the seller rather. Yeah. If you're the buyer, find out if the person is a smoker, and it's not to pass any judgment. Be a smoker if you want. Right. Don't particularly care. But we're dealing in cardboard here, and paper soaks up smells. Other than that, the collection is great. Great. I mean, within two cards, value was back, and everything on top was gravy. If the smell hadn't been there, that's uh, it's not even a conversation that this was a oh, great... It's just a win-win. Yeah, great Wins win of a, co- of a collection buy. So, overall, A++. Not A++. A-. I would say A-. A-. Minus. Yeah, sure. B+. Plus. Simply B plus. because of smell. But this is what it is. You, you go on eBay... And you set your search filters to like MTG lot magic the gathering cards. I use I use broad terms that the random person who has the cards would look at a card and they would look at it and go, Oh, Magic the Gathering Deck Master cards. Yeah. And I would put something arbitrary like that and then search it by newly listed, buy it now, accepts offers those kind of parameters and then just look at the newest same kind stuff. of stuff that we've said on yeah. older same kind of videos. stuff we've said on old videos but the thing is is there's people you imagine like people at you know card kingdom star city games channel fireball that's all they card do. hoarder there's people that are probably paid to look for collections absolutely. that are listed absolutely um, so i found this it was newly listed when i bought it uh-huh. so um it probably popped up it had like a picture of Ulamog and like a couple other cards, and it said MTG collection. I was like thirty-seven bucks, and they already have a picture of Ulamog. Right. And then I saw a picture of Watery Grave, and 10, I was like, 10, 17 bucks more, you're you're good. Yeah, and so I was like, okay, there's a whole collection here. We'll just buy it now. Uh, collection came very quickly, so from the seller, you know, very very fast shipping. That's awesome. Thank you. But um, yeah, we didn't know about the smoke smell. And so that's the only turnoff from this. That's my, and it's not, I mean, depending on the person, it's not that big of a turnoff. I'm just saying, for me, I've got a very sensitive sense of smell, sensitive sense of smell. Mm -hmm. And so it was instantly a, a problem for me. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. If you like the channel, make sure you are subscribed to us. That is the best way to support our channel. We do not monetize. We don't have a Patreon. We do this for you with your subscription you are telling us that you like the stuff yeah we have a bunch of stuff we have deck techs we have juice and packs we have a whole bunch of shenanigans go check out some of our other videos or just go down there click some buttons make sure you don't create an account to do it we never want anyone to create an account too much of your time if you're just here to watch videos good for you and until next time man i'm tapped out i am tapped out thank you for spending time with us Go check out Jake's Twitch stream. Link is in the description below.